Peace in everyone, welcome to the Dragon Slumber Show. Today we're playing Willy Nilly Night. This is a game by Double Dice Games, available right now on Steam for the price of $10, uh, $15. Uh, released on November 10th, 2017. A key was provided to me by the devs through Keymailer, so thank you very much. I just took a controller. Uh, I've, been, I've been used to taking my controller when I play a game, but uh, this is a, uh, I guess, a mouse game. Uh, we're gonna play as a knight. Challenging as it was meant by the authors, it will give you a true feel of the tactical aspect. Okay, we're gonna play as an explorer. The forces of, of uh, light and dark use the earth. I Quite often innocent people, mere toys in the hands of the gods, got caught in the crossfire. Uh, some great wizards managed to perform, and never before after that, mortals became able to control the destiny of the world by themselves. But despite everything the great wizards did, the gods were able to sneak back into, for as long as there is darkness inside human souls, the gods of dark. But the balance will remain intact forever, because there is... And only he can stop the advancing darkness. Not my favorite intro. Very fast. Maybe a little too fast. Where am I? I had a dream. Gods of light and darkness. I need someone to help me. Everything is so foggy. Press space to continue. I must still be dreaming. Um, there's a lot of text. Welcome to Willy Nilly Night. Click anywhere in the ground. Okay. The frame rate seems to be having difficulty here. A sword in the stone. I know this story. This is the legend of King Arthur. Who you are, K Arthur? Of course, my name is Arthur, and here I am looking at the swords again. Of course, I'm dreaming. Okay. Okay. No sound effects. No. Mm. Okay. Well, you can rotate the camera. That's pretty nice. And I can cast stuff. <gasps> oh no! Somebody help me! Don't kill me! Help! Oh gods, please help me! Goblins are chasing me! I won't be able to find them alone! Okay. Wow! We have two puny humans already. What luck! Okay. Oh, so this is playing in rounds. Really? So, this is the order of things. Left button on enemy to attack, left on ground to move. So I have... A, oh no, okay, so these are my action points and this is my health. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I should... Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. I was going to say that it should tell me how many uh, I have, but it I, only, I have six. I have six points, but it should give me a number. Uh, sure, attack the goblin. And she has this, which is probably... Can she cast it on the goblin? Can I do... How do I cancel? Wow, it is so precise. She can walk 1.9 meters on one AP. 
which prevents me from using this incidentally because it doesn't say how many it takes and she can heal all right I assume that I keep whatever I don't use hopefully so there we go Cost for AP. Uh, I like the turn-based uh, aspect of it. Those goblins were fighting for real. What's going on here? There's a lot of text. It's not the most interesting thing. I can I can carry nickels. Why am I controlling her now? Can I switch? There you go. Spiders. Wow, I have a lot of... Okay, I thought I was starting with everything. I guess I heal everything between rounds, which is pretty nice. I like this path. I like how it... Well, it doesn't always use the best path, but it does a path, which is nice. There we go. Yeah, it he, it seems to heal between rounds, which is which I like. You know, between uh, battles. All right, level up. Oh, okay, that's nice. So I, I level up skills directly rather than stats, which is not a bad idea. I like it. Uh, I w I kind of wish I. Oh, okay, I can get this instead. Or, okay, this. I guess every time I attack, I'm gonna heal, so that's pretty good. And I, I can't... I didn't realize, but I can't level these up, so... Healing... Yeah, we're gonna go with electricity.
Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't make me check everything manually. What is. No. That's not good, though. Well, I guess there's only. Th well, see, here's the problem. So there's only three things that I can check, but there's no real reason why. It's because they didn't want to. I don't know. Hey, I wish I I had the uh, the full unhidden version of these characters. Fight the goblins. No. Wait, I still have... Oh wait, I also have stats? Okay, well, wait a minute. Uh, intelligence. Yes. And Arthur, I'll raise his strength. I have not seen a lot of games like this where you can kind of level up during combat. It's, it's nice, I like it. <laughs> I don't hate it. Yeah, that is a really strong attack that I have here. The ability to heal when you when I attack. I'm gonna go all Palpatine on you. No, I can't. I mean, it's it seems pretty well balanced though, because I am losing a lot of health, and I, I'm healing, but I'm I'm still losing a lot of health. So, good on them. I have four. Okay, I'm gonna attack twice because it's going to heal me twice. Oh, well, there you go. These bags of nickels do not stand out against the uh, the background. So, bunch of stats, bunch of, bunch of stats. I found a helmet. There you go. Okay, there you go. So I can... This gives me a little idea of uh, the size of the world. It's weird because it doesn't react immediately when I click. This is an invisible wall. 
instead of transporting me, which I get, but it, mm, it's a, there are there are a few things that look that feel a little off, I guess. It's not terrible though. Minori for, uh, Fortress. I hate the fact that I need to do, use spacebar though to uh, skip. Like, just give me a thing that I can play. Oh, I can. Okay, there you go. Uh, Seer Siegfried. I, I like that the gate went through the ground instead of uh, up. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to people. Except her, because she might I like to see her wares. That's a lot of wares. There's something that almost feels multiplayer from this game. Only with a special key. Ah. Guinevere, where have you been? How many times have I told you it's too dangerous outside the walls these days? Blah blah blah, the sword. Where did you get that sword? Orc sentry that's always lurking. Alright, well, he gave me a key and he, went, he told me to go kill an orc. Which, fair enough. Is this a trap? No? Okay. It feels soft, like there's, there's, there's a lack of impact to everything, you know? It's so calm, everything is so calm, I guess. I, I, I kind of want more impact or something. And I hate that I need to measure so accurately like this. It's, it's very annoying. I'm doing a lot of damage. Might as well. I am he healing quite a bit too from from every uh, every attack that I do. Yay! And I hate that I keep switching. Just stay on Arthur. I want so originally I, I thought I wanted Ara to remain on Ar Arthur because um. It's level two, right? 
Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait off on that. Or not. Uh, because he's the hero, but no, I wanted, I want him to lead because the position of your characters matter. Swords, a ghost's worst enemy. Okay, well, apparently this one is more damaged, so we'll do this. I expected them to be a lot weaker to magic. And I kind of wish that my special move did, <laughs> did more damage than my regular attack. Oh well. Why does lightning suck so much. Am I, am I missing something here? It has more cooldown, it costs more AP, and it's deal well. I guess it's it's supposed to deal more, but it, it doesn't. <laughs> which is very annoying. It has less range, which that is super annoying. No. Oh, I didn't realize that they attacked twice. Oh, no use to use that. There you go. The combats aren't that bad. I, um, I can get into this. I like the, um, the AP system. Huh. I am not saying it's it's a little slow, um not gonna lie there. Oh, I can level up. Um This seems to be very strong. I use fireball all the time, so yes please. And we're gonna increase vitality, I guess. I think my regular attacks use magic, so... Here we 
we go. I wish I had a little more information about the monsters that I'm fighting. Uh, like the range that they have. Like if I could do this, see where they can ri uh, they can run to and kind of move just outside of the of range or something like that. I could use just a little bit more info. Plus five. No! Mm, not where I wanted to do. Well, we're going for the bottom one now. There we go. Oh, 62. Wow, okay. Level ups make a big difference. So, I guess my special move poisons them or something. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's okay. The game is okay. Um, it's just a little empty I don't feel like I've done a lot thus far and I've I'm considering the dialogue and everything I don't really expect to encounter all that much intriguing involving stuff yeah I, I don't I need to not use lightning against them oh I think they were paralyzed okay well that was good Fireball! Alright, well, I'm trapped. You know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Diablo fan, but I think this is alright. I don't know uh, to what extent someone would call this uh, a Diablo clone. I mean, it's turn-based, so it's very, it, it is different, to be fair. But I, um... I think this is interesting. We're gonna do one last battle, I guess. There you go. Orc Sentry. And I need to stop spawning right outside of the range. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wish that I could hold control or hold anything and advance by 2 meters, 4 meters. Like the, the, the maximum advance rate for 1 AP. Like, I don't... I like the fact that you can advance by how many you want, but oftentimes what I want is to advance the maximum for 1 AP, and it doesn't allow for that. I think if it, uh, if it added that convenience, um, it would be very convenient.
Also, I don't think I've completed anything on my own. I think Guinevere has been almost always the uh, instigator. The victor. I like that you can teleport uh, rapidly, but now I have to go through the entire fortress and it's going to be through the, the city to to claim my quest and it's going to take a while. Can I run? I can't run. Like these types of things, it's like, uh, I, if, if traveling is fun and involved, then it's fine. But th these types of games, do, like if, even if there's rolling, at least you have rolling. All right, well, there you go. Uh, Willy-nilly night. Well, I, you guys don't see the achievement. I just got an achievement. So, there you go. And I was told to go at the tavern and to meet the blacksmith. Sir Dick. I'm very busy. I'm very busy. I'm very busy. I'm very busy. I think that's a bug. I don't think that it was supposed to be like that. Uh, I'd like to see your wares. Well, I need a lot of levels to, to equip anything of note. It's Bob! This guy and this guy do not look alike. Um, okay, so I just got a quest. Wow, really? So this and this are the same people. Um, not quite. Not quite. They both have a scarf and long sleeves and... But he has a cap and he doesn't. Very odd. I don't know why G, the, the button to, to open the map is G, which is weird. Um, I think I'm going to be, I'm going to be done for now with uh, Willy Nilly Night. It's not a bad game. Oh, I don't understand how the the text is set up. Kind of vaguely in the region of it. It's not a bad game. It's um. It's lacking a, l a little bit of impact, a little bit of oomph. Everything seems weak. Traveling is kind of weak. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of want more... More excitement, you know? It's it's kind of a bland adventure. I like the, the, 2D, and, uh, the 2D sprites. Uh, the 2D uh, models. Uh, that art is pretty nice. I mean, overall, the game looks fine. Uh, bland, but fine. You can't distinguish crates that you can use as opposed to those you can't. It, um, you know, it, it, it kind of feels like it was uh, made pretty fast. I want to gain more AP. Probably need to upgrade my... There's a lot of upgrading to do and that's gonna take a while also I have the worst okay there you go it's not bad
Uh, all right. Electric. Wow, that was strong. Okay, I'll never complain about electricity again. So I know I know it's a pain, it's a howl of pain and whatnot, but it does sound a little bit like a, a clown nose. Heal. That's a pretty strong heal. I'm noticing that the uh, the dead wolf remains. Uh, in the list, it was confusing me. They should, they should remove it. Okay, yeah, I, I know how it works. Thank you. It's just not like it. It they could show the the stuff that you can't use in gray or something, which they might. Uh, no, I don't think they do. Well, I can't use this. Well, maybe they do. Maybe I'm, I'm just not paying attention enough. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Okay. Willy Nilly Knight. Available right now on... Uh, sure. That is the current time uh, that I'm playing. It's not the the how long I've been playing. Takes a screenshot. Nice. Uh, Willy Nilly Night available right now on Steam for the price of fifteen dollars. Um, it you know it is what it is. It's a small soft game. Uh. Stylized, I guess. Go check it out if you're interested. I think it has potential. I think as as time goes on and as you encounter stronger enemies, uh, maybe there's more strategy that builds up. Hopefully, um, kind of wish that starting moment was more was stronger. And I wish, like, I don't know, it needed stronger sound effects, maybe or some screen shake or some some visual effects that are stronger. I don't know. It it just it felt weak. Everything felt weak and. I think that's to the detriment of the game, sadly. Gonna head on out. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Kevin Jaguar. I'll talk to you guys next game. Peace out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Arrow Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!